people and I believe that people need places and that is what gets me up every day despite the challenges, despite the bureaucracy, um, despite the, the heavy loads and the stress. I want to see things done. I think that's one thing that gets me up. Uh, doesn't matter how low in terms of energy levels I am, but I'm one person that I want to get, I want to see things happening. I am a loyal and committed person. I agreed when I was appointed that I would do this work. So that alone gets me up in the morning. It takes a trip out of the office into my car and I go out into the field. And I find that that really gets my motivation all back up to where it needs to be. I want to know that when I die, that upon reflection, that people say that's a, that was a life well lived. In some instances, when you go back to your community after a series of public engagement meetings about this thing or the other, when you come back to them and they say to you, yeah, we are happy about this, this and that, and that this, this and that is something that they had spoken about and we have attended to as practitioners, as cities, that, that it, just, it just makes my day. It's a very big task. So if one can, on a daily basis, contribute towards that, and I think that, that's what always drives me every morning when I go to work to say, what are the small steps that I can start to, to take to ensure that uh, that special transformation is achieved? You have to make a difference. If you, if you give up and walk away, um, it's not good enough. If you can make a difference and if you believe in yourself, I think, and believe in the work you're doing, and I do, I absolutely believe that the work we're doing is critically important. I think the ability of I being able to do such, being focal and delivering such, and also being a problem solver is what's, um, so it's what's key, and that's what keeps you going in the morning. That you actually get to shake the environment a little bit, and people aren't really as comfortable as they used to be because things have to change, um, and people have to be accommodated into, into the urban fabric. It was, you know, regardless of their income um, or, or race or gender, um, and that's the kind of type of city that I really aspire, am aspiring to, 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 to achieve. Despite the challenges, what gets me up in the morning is my zeal to make a difference. Um, and I know it sounds very corny, <laughs> and I think if 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 a planner that was there when I was growing up didn't follow this corny um, saying, um, I probably wouldn't have made it. So what gets me up every day is, to, is, is the realization that um, what I do actually does impact someone's life out there. And I mean, we say that a lot, but when you've actually walked um, in those footsteps and seen what you know um, other people are going through out there, you want to make a difference. So I think when you understand your work and how it fits into the whole city structure. It makes it a bit better because then you have a full un understanding of your role and your contribution to the whole city. I strategize uh, and I love seeing my work <laughs> being implemented somewhere or my work being spoken about uh, in, in the organization. I'm really passionate about creating a place and places for people where they feel um, safe, where they feel empowered, um, and that's beautiful. When they when they're in that space, they feel alive and enlivened. So that's what gets me up every day.